nothing happened other than those beeps and then the video shut off so this is the second video so in the meantime I quickly made a barrier because otherwise the turtle will uh, wander off and so I kind of was having like flashbacks to uh, Thunderdome or something here in his biodome it's a little arena so anyway this really needs to be tilled and uh, taken down to just dirt but we'll see what it can do so I had it on this little USB charger it went from 75 to, to uh, 74 and so um, it got its little uh, pit stop so th this is a, the charge port and I guess when you turn it over it, it there's an interlock so this little weed whacker will whack your hand and that's a water water resistant cover and then you gotta keep that nice and tight probably not too tight but tight enough so the water doesn't go in so let's flip her over and see what happens by the way I gotta put my my phone on this charger it's low this little thing dangling off the phone now I'm trying to record this okay so I pressed the button once and nothing happened made the beeps nothing happened um, flipped it over put on the little charger so I think from the manual I mean I'm trying to recall uh, once you turn it over you gotta reset it by pressing the button Oh, there's some flashing. Maybe it's initializing. Gosh, I wish I had a photographic memory for that manual. I could tell you what the flashing is. But anyway, I gotta go to work soon, so um, can't spend all day on this. So, it might be overwhelmed. There's just too many little weeds. It's these little weeds and stuff, if you get them now, way easier. Um, I'm going to probably garden in this dome. Try to have an extended garden outside because it's a little bit, it's under my willow tree. A little shaded, but still facing south. Um, where I live here in eastern Washington uh, things get frozen in the winter and fried in the summer so um, I've got a cover for this it's actually a, a pool cover and uh, so I'll have to see what to do here so I don't see any movement unless that's like the charging indicator kind of Thinks it kind of reminds me of a charging indicator. I'd really like to get some footage of this sucker moving around. Um, wow. There, there it goes. So uh, the idea is it tills the ground as it uh, tills the ground with the tires, uh, the wheels. They're at a nice little tilling angle, I guess. And it's slow progress, but over time, it's going to do its thing. And I really need to assist, get these sticks and junk out of here. This is actually fun. This is the most fun I've had in a long time. And it works right out of the box, more or less. Um, oh, hit the barrier. Hit the barrier again, he's coming out. Seeing the, uh, the action here. Wow. Let's 
So, uh, why I got the turtle? Okay, there's a video game series called Harvest Moon. You really gotta check it out. Uh, all, the, all of them are really good. Some a little bit better than others. But in one of them, you play this robot kid in the future, and um, you find an old war bot in the in the forest, I think, and your professor dad turns this old war bot into a gardening bot, like an assistant bot, robot, and it's so cool because it gardens for you and stuff. I was like, holy smokes! And so that idea has been on the back burner for a long time, like a gardening robot. And finally, I guess the Roomba um, folks went and started the turtle bots. And there's, you should look into it. I know there's, I'm being ambiguous, but just for time. So, um, anyway, I'm really heavy duty in the, in the solar power. Uh, I turned some, uh, turned some, uh, oh, what's it doing now? I spent some time in Iraq. I did two tours, and I think solar is the way to go. You don't have to be just relying off of uh, petroleum. So I'm heavy duty in the solar. You can kind of see in the distance there little bit of some projects of mine but um, solar and robots oh my gosh and the autonomous devices holy smokes yes let's do it and so th this is like uh, the first time in world history I can have a, a weeder you know you gotta start early when they're small once the weeds get big big then you're kind of up the creek but I can have a, this little helper bot this turtle um, prep the ground kind of I mean I should prep the ground more this is a demonstration but so you can see what it does um, and you should buy one this is awesome this is like having a little assistant in your garden so when you got to be gone at work or otherwise um, you let the turtle do your weeding just imagine hours and hours and hours of this little thing whacking away and tilling away with the with the wheels. Um, so we're we're gonna have rain, I guess, here soon. At least in Spokane, that's north of me. So hopefully, what I'll do every day is come out here and do a report. So this is a report for uh, April second. And I'll come out here and I'll move some, get these stupid sticks and stones and junk out of here myself. So, uh, I'll team up with the turtle and we'll get this prepped for a garden. I want to grow a lot of melons and things. I had a request to do um, zucchini, so I got to do some of that. Um, ooh, difficulty, it's, it's going to go on. Oh. You figure out, turtle? Wow. So that barrier is kind of bad. Wow, that's some awesome programming. Holy smokes. So I guess if it, if it gets uh, um, stuck, it'll send out a, a warning or a, a help me beep or something. There's so much to this. But the idea here, this video, is just out of the box, throw it on the ground, not throw it, place it on the ground nicely and start it up. So I got it going pretty quick. What took a long time is doing the barriers. Um, I never thought I would be making a barrier for a, a garden robot. But it is 2019, we are in the future, you need to update your garden to get this. So I'll put a link uh, under the video where you can buy one. And you'll have, they ship in uh, uh, May uh, 2019. This is the first one. I'm sure they'll have better updates and revisions. There's an app for it too. I'm going to check out the app. But because the app's on my phone, I don't have, know how I'm going to make a video of that today. But I'll, that'll be upcoming. 
But uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be all about gardening and solar and robots and technology and um, renewable energy and, and organic food and all this stuff. Uh, I like to combine a lot of disciplines and I self-educate myself. Um, so you'll see things on my channel you won't see other places so make sure you subscribe and uh, it's all free for you but anyway yeah I bought it with my own money I'm not uh, sponsored by turtle robotics or anything so this is a straight unbiased review first startup but in, in less than ideal conditions obviously But yeah, I just want to sit out here and, and watch the turtle work. This doesn't, doesn't have terrible, but or at least verify that it's not gonna get uh, stuck. Did you see how it pulled out of that little crappy corner? That's awesome. So they give you an extra uh, filament to uh, replace. So I need to order some more filaments. It's really using it. Um, but yeah, other than that, now honestly, since I know about batteries and robotics and stuff, uh, the things that'll fail obviously are moving parts. Um, the lithium battery, lithium, lithium iron, <laughs> blah blah, lithium ion battery. Uh, it's not gonna last forever, obviously. If, the, if there's debris on the solar panel, it's not going to charge it optimally. Um, so, and obviously in the winter, you probably got to take it in. No, you have to. You have to. Um, unless it's a protected greenhouse or something. Because uh, lithium iron, sorry, lithium ion batteries, they don't like to be frozen and charged. At the same time, it causes chaos, to say the least. Um, but it's supposed to be rainproof, and we'll find out when it rains. So I am totally impressed. A lot of design went into this. Uh, I was burned on like a crowdfunding thing uh, before. I paid four hundred dollars for something called the uh, the Meat Earl. It was supposed to be a little tablet that had pretty much all the world's maps on it. And a radio. Ooh, is it gonna get high centered? Oh, turtle, can you make it? Uh oh, that's bad barrier design. You know what? I'm pretty confident I can just leave turtle alone and it'll figure out even being up on a screwed up barrier. This, uh oh. So you want to have good barriers, not not a junky one like this. Come on, turtle. Can you make it? Turtle. Oh, he had us worried. So that's a junky barrier right there, obviously, and Turtle still navigated it. Oh, what's this? So this is not a joke. It's a real deal device. Uh, I recommend you order one. You'll thank yourself over and over. I'm just saying that from my inference so far. Um, yeah, have a little garden helper. And yeah, I guess you can order multiple if you wanted. Uh, each one's supposed to cover about 100 square feet of, of gardening and um, so you better get one these things are gonna be hot hot hotter than uh, hotter than uh, organic pepper so uh, get yourself one of these this is definitely a good thing to get um, get yourself a turtle because uh, 
these weeds are nefarious. When you're not looking, they will take over. Uh, I've had no success gardening unless my crops grow faster than the weeds. Um, 